Studio SO1 in Media City. Uh, whilst in SO3, we've got Pale Blue Eyes. Hello. Hello. So Hello. you're going to do um, Globe for us now, which is the uh, new single which we've been playing lots. Yeah, we're going to play Globe and then I think Chelsea after that. Right, OK. We'll have a chat in between, eh? OK, cool. but get to it. This is Pale Blue Eyes live in session. Thank you. We love that. That is Pale Blue Eyes live in session with Globe. Globe is an ex-pub that you frequent, is it? It was a pub back in the day and then it turned into like a student house that we all lived in. And it's got like a pretty wild lineage of people that used to like pass it down from generation to generation. And like you just wake up and there'd be like people living downstairs for a couple of weeks or it was an amazing house full of creativity. And yeah, it was an old pub to begin with. It sounds a bit bohemian, that, if it you don't was. mind me saying. It was brilliantly so. It was our little bohemia. It was our little Totnes bohemia. Right, OK. And so, um, Totnes, Rock City. <laughs> Totnes, Rock City. <laughs> yeah. Home Discuss. of the rock gods. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I'll let Aub got? Aubrey, you take that one. <laughs> well, who have we got? We've got a few from Totnes, haven't we? It does slightly punch got above Joe. its own weight. 
We've got Metronomy, who I know, who know you're a fan NCAA of that. Lines. <laughs> that's um, NASCAR Lines yeah. as well, yeah. Michael's from there, isn't Michael's he? Michael's from there. Ben, who is? Ben. NASCAR Lines. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, yeah, same thing. I saw he was in the band already with, um, <laughs> with, band. with Joe Mount, wasn't all, he? All right, I'm trying to chat up top less here, Mark. <laughs> yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. We've got Ben Howard. Ben Howard as well. Right, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're doing pretty well. We've got well, the record shop. We've got Jeff record shop. That, yeah, that's, that's rock. That's rock. That's, that's where it's rad. all coming that's from, rock. isn't it, really? Okay. Because, yeah. do you know, I played... Um, when I was in the fall, we played in Totnes, and um, I'll remember that night vividly because I we'd played in America previously and I had a T-shirt with um, the name of the club on. Now, unfortunately, the name of the club was Spit, which all of the Mohicans and everybody in the audience decided to uh, treat as a, an invitation to wow. spit at me all night. <laughs> and it might even be some of your parents. What Probably do you say right. about that? <laughs> yeah, they would, they would have been spitters. <laughs> <laughs> you got your parents down as a bunch of spitters, have you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You've got to be careful what you say on national radio. Yeah. <laughs> right, OK. So how did the band come to be? We... We were basically like writing some tunes in a studio and the bass player who was going to come and hang out didn't show up and Aubrey was there to hang out as well. We basically just started playing music together. Yeah, I, I met Matt and Lucy on my first ever photography job, which was when I was 18 and I was working at our local festival in Tottenham called Sea Change Festival, which is put on by Drift Records. And I asked Matt and Lucy, because they were playing with another band at the time, if I could please take their photo before they went on. And then they said, hey, you should come, should you come to uh, the studio next week. We're going to try and make some music together. Why don't you come and take some snaps? And so I came along uh, and they got a text when we got there that their current bass player was running a little bit late. So we left it a little bit and a couple more hours went by and they were like, Orbs, you were chatting about the bass guitar. You just started learning, haven't you? Do you want to have like a little go at filling in? And I was like, yeah, this is, this is my time. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, he's I could tell he was a ruthless type when I met him. Was, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what could happen here. So we managed to get one down, and then I think the bass player would maybe put it off by another hour, so we managed to get two down and a few more. And I think eventually we just decided that we'd uh, just have a little go together, yeah, didn't we? I think that's band. probably how that's how I remember it starting between us. So yeah. this anonymous bass player, are you still mates with him, huh? Yeah, we get the odd text. like The odd, no, odd text? He's how a good odd? Lad. He's, he's, he's a good lad. Yeah. But yeah, very, very odd. <laughs> <laughs> so, so your ex bass player is odd, and your parents are spitters. This is going really it's well. A really lovely image you're portraying of your loved ones. You're right not going to be able to go back to Totnes Rock City. I'm telling you that now. <laughs> so, is it right that you saved your pennies by um, a load of different jobs, and now you've got your own studio? Yeah, we we did um, do all like loads of different jobs in different, main, mainly in like catering actually. But um, we just we did like skip diving. We worked behind bars. We did everything because we just wanted to put it into what we love and make music as much as possible. So, yeah, we do have our own studio space. And, and the bank gave us a loan, which was stupid of them. <laughs> no, because we can see that you're going to do very, very well. And so do you allow other bands to come in the studio? Do you, yeah. do you work with other groups? Yeah, totally. We, we, um, if, if people are interested, we'll let them use the space for sure, yeah. OK, yeah. cool. And, um, you know, we're playing Sea Power tonight. Um, the session from 2011, and I know you've toured with Sea Power. Yeah, it's, it, that's been an incredible journey because they kind of like push you through through the full spectrum of emotions on their gigs, and they're and it's like a privilege to watch their live shows. But but to play with them was was amazing. So yeah, we're we're very grateful for those shows. Now, and, of course, you've already dissed your ex bass player and your parents, so I know <laughs> you won't say anything bad about Sea Power. And how could you? Uh, but the bottom line is, I've been kind of on the road with Sea Power, and I know of all of the bands that I've hung out with at any point, they party hardest. They do. Oh, oh interesting. Man. But we're yeah. not going to, like, stitch anyone up here. No. I, no. Think Mark, I, I feel I Mark think knows them probably yeah, a lot better, better than we do. Than we do. I think <laughs> it's sometimes just nice to acknowledge that some people have quite magnificent endurance when it comes to Which I drinking feel like after yeah, gigs. we're learning from exactly. being on tour with them. Exactly yeah. that. That's, that's I mean, you know, thing. they can put it away and then still play I like know. they've not, yeah. you know. Yeah. We did notice remarkable. that, to be fair, didn't we? Yeah. Of course you did. <laughs> and you are doing the Crankenhouse Festival, Muncaster Castle, at the end of uh, August. Yes, we are. We can't wait for that. There's so done. many great bands on there, aren't yeah. they? So Lower Plane and Griff Reese and Pigs, 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 Richard Dawson. Uh, this is the kit. There's also a Velvet Underground tribute band. Yeah. Hey. 
Hey, yeah, we've heard a lot about that actually. To be fair, yeah. So, um, excellent stuff. Okay, so, um, well, we've we've kept you long enough. You need to do another song for us now, which worryingly for me at least, being a Man City supporter, is called Chelsea. <laughs> Would you like to explain? I can explain a bit of it, but the rest I'll have to explain to you in the pub. Oh, I um, see. But it's not about the football club. Oh, so, that's all right. So then. there you go. Excellent. Um, all right then. So, pale yeah. blue eyes, live in session with Chelsea. Thank you.
that was wonderful. Pale Blue Eyes with Chelsea. The album Souvenirs is out on the uh, 2nd of September. Uh, plenty of dates again to run at. The 28th of August, Leeds, this must be the place. 7th of September, Manchester Retro. 8th, London, Paper Dress Vintage. The 9th, Bristol, Crofters Rights. The 10th of September, Reading, Down the Abbey. Uh, the 17th of September, Tymouth, Karma Coast. And then um, there's more dates in Warwick, Norwich, Sunderland, Edinburgh, Inverness, Keele, Liverpool, Sheffield, Leicester. Swansea, London, Margate, Oxford, Bournemouth. Um, wonderful. Thank you very much indeed. That was great. I'd like to dedicate that last tune to Roy, Roy Wilkinson, if that's all right. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. A pleasure. Thanks okay. so much for Thanks having for us. Having Thanks us for too. having us. I oh, know, it was great. I loved it. All right. Thank you. See ya. Okay, there you go.